Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face. Today we're going to be running some L4 missions. I'm going to be doing some burner missions because originally I wanted to do some more missions in a marshal. My marshy, my marshy boy, my marshy. The gank magnet that it is, I wanted to do some more missions in this. Because, uh, I mean, I don't plan on having this forever since it's such, or at least having it deployed in space forever. Because I am guaranteed that as soon as the word comes out that I start using a marshal or it spreads, people are going to be hunting me all the time. And I'm not trying to think big of myself. I'm trying to think smart because I see people who get ganked a lot in L4 missions in marshals. Killed males on the Reddit. People make fun of people like this. And I really do not want that to happen to me. But... I was going to go into do another mission, but then I see we get a burner mission. So let's do this burner mission. This is what it's going to be about. We're going to be about burning the burners right here. Burning the burners. And in this case, we have a vengeance. And I have in the past got a very, very good drop from a vengeance. In fact, one of the best drops I ever got from an L4 mission was from a burner. Let's fit this right here. Don't have me's on exotic plasmas. Nope. Does not matter. Okay. Except, let's go to Nasareli. I got a drone damage amplifier. I think it was Imperial Navy drone damage amplifier. Just get 100 mil, just chaka ching like that, you know, just 100 mil like that. See if we can do it again. You know, if we pull that off again, oh my god, we are going to be so damn lucky. It would be very nice if it does happen. We'll see if it does happen. You know, maybe possibility is there. Possibility is there, but, you know. I've already, I've got a, quite a lot of luck. Last time I was seriously running L4 missions, I did get some pretty good dank loot drops. So, you know, it's like the luck is going to run out. I think at this point, you know, the RNG is going to be like, oh, Ace Face, you've got too many good loot drops. Now it's not the time for getting any more loot drops. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, the re reload the occult. We've got a few people here. I love um, uh, some orcas. I've noticed that around the region of Heora, this is a very peaceful area. It's very nice. It's like you see all these miners mining in the background. It's really cool. You know, you see all these people, they're doing their own business. Like you would think there would be NPCs, right? But they are actually real players just sitting there mining, gathering ore, earning their nice isk in their multi boxing. You know, barge is really fun. Maybe I've not seen a whole lot of barge spam. I've just been seeing just a few people and then uh, orcas. Uh, it's just really cool. I think it adds a lot to the immersion of this game when you see a lot of people in the background doing stuff like that. Okay, let's go close to him. Go close, go close, go close. And start webifying the scrub. Please drop a good loot. Oh, did you see that water shot the shields? That was a big hit. 200? Have we only got 200 HP buffer? Oh, our shield is so tiny on this Nurgle. I didn't know that Nurgle had such a tiny shield buffer. It's a lot less than I expected. Okay, let's deploy the drones. Let's deploy our drones, our drones that are going to go and uh, attack this guy with the hobgoblins. Let's get that we got the hobgoblins. You know, see here the lowest resistance is thermal. That's pretty good considering that we're doing also quite a bit of thermal right here. Ooh, he's got two lodges, so it's going to take a bit of time to get through because we need to spool up to get that DPS, the sick DPS. Let's keep going. I've not got. I don't think I've got any implants in here that affect. Uh, I've not got my Asclepian implants in right now. So I'm not going to be doing it because that has got a few damage uh, mods or damage implants that affect the turrets. So I'll be doing a little bit less damage than I usually do with those implants. But this Nurgle works without any implants at all. So that's really one really good thing about it. It's just going to be a little bit slower, you know. I'm just going to go down, up, down, up, down, up until my occult starts spooling up. Just, it's going to go down really fast. Isn't it? Let's see, now where's our spool up? 440 DPS, sitting there on cruiser level DPS. And it's still this burner Nurgle, or the burner uh, Avengers. Oh, imagine if there was a burner Nurgle. Oh my god. That that guy would be really crazy. I can imagine that would be the counter of the Nurgle for the burners, the burner Nurgle. I feel like this guy has got a lot more turrets than you actually have on a Vengeance. Is it just me? But it looks like I don't, I'm not used, I've used the Vengeance a bit. And I've never noticed it having this many turrets. Like, it looks like it has more turrets to me than you would usually have on a Avengers. I don't know. The burners, they do like to cheat, though, a lot. They do like to cheat a lot. Uh, I think that maybe is just why. What? 600 DPS. 609 DPS. Oh, my God. We've got a lot of DPS right here. The whole DCI just popped like that. Uh, nothing good. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back to Hiora. See what kind of mission we get here. You know, something that I've been thinking about is, do you guys even run burners? Because I'm quite curious. Um, 
I hear, I, I was especially in the beginning when I started doing L4 missions, or not even the beginning to be honest, uh, the first like year or something, the first maybe year or two years of doing L4 missions, I never even touched burners because it's just too much, too expensive the ships you use to make it, uh, to run them. And uh, the slight mistakes can cost you your whole ship that's very expensive. Plus, the, on top of that, the risk of ganks. It never appealed to me. It never appealed to me. But do you guys run burners? And if so, do you also use this Nurgle setup? Or do you also do you use some kind of other setup? Like, I see a lot of people, they use the Gamma and these kind of specialized ships for them. I like the idea of just being able to use one ship right here. It's really cool. I think the Nurgle looks really cool. And also, it's just I like the simplicity, you know, just the simplicity of one ship. Now, I haven't have 50 million ships in my hangar that all individually cost like 500 million. Instead, I just have one little ship right here, and that's it. I just refit it on every mission. It's really, it feels very, very solid, very solid frigate right here. It's stock up right here and hand in our mission and something i'm also like just I'm still not damn decided what to use my lp on it's just i've still got accumulating the lp like a madman oh we've got another one oh interesting should we do this one as well yeah we can do this one as well um and for some reason the system is appearing as low sec but it's not low sec uh the thing is with this uh the other lp i could still i think should i use the federation navy stats as web of fire shall i not Oh, it just is. It's, 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 it's a lot of LP I've got. See here, over 1 million LP right here. I'm thinking, oh, what shall I use on? It will be worth it. Oh, I don't want to convert it all to these items and then there's not enough buy orders and not enough orders at all. And then it's just like, oh, I'm stuck with all these modules. And then suddenly the price crashes and that kind of stuff. I'm still thinking, oh, what to use on. But I think probably what it's going to end up being is the Federation Navy Stasis Webifiers. Because back when I used to exchange the prop mods for my lp then it was i think it was just a bit of a lucky period where they were going for very good prices because i used to get like 1.8k to almost 2k isk per lp with my prop mods back in the day the federation navy prop mods like 10 mn and 50 mn uh micro drive and afterburner they they were really good oh what's this Oh, oh, we need to be a little bit careful here. Yeah, there's a red guy. I think he is a ganker. He is in a capsule, possibly out there to gank people. We're going to have to check Z-Kill one sec. We're going to have to check Z-Kill one sec. Because this could be something dangerous. And he is probably scanning. So maybe it could be a possibility that someone is going to gank me on this gate right here. I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. Oh, I hope not. Uh, let's see uh, what is here. We have got a very small hitbox though, so it is going to be pretty hard for me to get hit. Okay, so one second. We're going to just uh, dock here at uh, or warp here to a citadel. Just check that this guy is not out there to get us. Oh, we got a little bit of storyline mission right there. Maybe do that sometime. Get some nice faction LP bonus. Okay, let's see now. This guy doesn't seem like he's nah. It doesn't seem like this guy is ganking. I'm looking here. You can see here, like he's just really doing a bunch of low sec PVP. To be honest, not any ganks going on, so it's all good. It's all good. Let's go up to the location. Actually, no. One second. Wait, one second. I need to just organize my modules a little bit. Okay, let's warp to the location and get ready to knock out this burner hawk. Hawk. Tech 2 Caldari ship. We are against one of those. Oh, I hope it goes good. We've got some acolytes as well. Put them in EM like that. All right. All right. What I was talking about before was that, you know, the I felt like it was a lucky period with those prop mods going for so good LP ratios. And I think, to be honest, now they're normalizing and Federation Navy Stasis Webifiers are really just really useful module so there's i think there's always going to be a demand for them so it could be an idea to like bulk invest into one of them let's do this kill one of these guys approach him with the bar barion we'll go with barion and take out this bantam over here scrubby bantam repairing this hawk okay what's the range 14 kilometers okay and we'll go here start shooting you can webify him as well and then as soon as I'm taking a lot of damage, I can just deploy my drones, I think, to just speed up everything a little bit. There we go. Spool up. Nurgle, spool up. 
Do your magic. Do your Triglavian magic. I wish there... I just... This is what something... I wish there was... I wish there was a shield variant of the Nurgle. Like a... Or a, at least a unified ship. The same way the Nurgle is a unified burner uh, uh, ship. They can like do all burners. I wish there was one, but for the shield-based ship. A shield-based ship that could do all the frigate burners the same way the Nurgle could. Because then... I could use high grade crystals because now when I if or if I'm using a, a, a Asclepian it's really good because I can it bonuses the Paladin as well but I also would like the ability to also if I wanted to if I felt like going shield based as well I could go with you know something else a shield based ship and also have it bonus mine uh, burner running too so I just I just wish there was a shield variant of the Nurgle unfortunately there is not at least I was thinking maybe okay yeah Eden Com but Eden Com is not going to do crap to these burners right here the like, the whole thing with burners is you need to do a focused uh, target a high amounts of damage because they're so they got so much repair rate but you know uh, the Eden Com is going to do the completely the opposite spreading out the damage and it's going to do hardly any damage Skybreaker like what the hell is that thing going to do <laughs> so. Uh, we'll, we'll just have to like, approach this guy and just kill this guy. Nothing really more to it. But I was thinking that maybe something that could be of maybe being a possibility would be, so be something like a... I think it was maybe even a Hawk or, or a... What's it called now? The other, the other ship. I think it was Harpy. I was thinking that those ships could maybe be uh, able to run burners. Especially if you had the crystal implants per... It just felt like the range was not enough and it didn't seem to be too good. I don't know a whole lot about the way burner mechanics work, so I can't say for sure. But I just wish there was a way to have a shield-based unified burner ship. Wreck this guy. Wreck this burner hawk. I wonder if this guy can drop some Kaldari Navy stuff. That would be really cool because it would make sense. You know, the Vengeance drops Imperial Navy. This guy drops Kaldari Navy, you know. Because this guy is Kaldari. The Vengeance is a Amar Tech 2 ship. This is a Kaldari Tech 2 ship. Kaldari Navy uh, Ballistic Control System. That would be amazing to get. You know, can you get one? Please, Burner Hawk. Jib, jib, give me. Let's see now. Nothing here. Oh, okay, whatever. We go to back to our system of Heora and return to our mission agent and get our dank isk. Mm hmm. We have some good isk right here. I really, I think that so far we've earned, I mean each burner mission it gives about 30 million isk and it's not taking a whole lot of time I think 15 or 10 15 minutes total so 60 minutes 60 mil in this short amount of time I think is really good really damn good let's go back here to the system of Heora and hand in that mission and get my good scope standing and isk the thing is with burner missions if you're able to run them you'll get some very good standings very good standings they really love you when you do the burner missions and uh, I know if you uh, you don't have to do burner missions. You can decline them and not get any standing hits because they think it's not so dangerous. But if you do manage to do it, they'll get very happy. They'll get very happy. Okay, uh, let's go to this is next system right here. I can even see here what I got from that last burner mission. Okay, why is it not updating my? Maybe I'm not. Hmm, it's not updating my. Standing, it's not been updated for a while actually. Strange, really strange. Hmm. Okay, that's really strange. Maybe I've got too much standing that they're just like, nah, we can't give you any more standing. We already love you enough. What, what more standing do you want? And that's true because I can do every single mission, I can do L5 missions, no problem. But I think that would be something really fun to do in the future actually. L5 missions, I, I know it's possible to do them in the Barkist. The guy Gustav Manfred, he did that. He did them in the Bargast, and he had a Bargast in each possible system for the mission to be in. A separate one, just so he can't get ganked. <laughs> that was pretty fun to see him, someone do that. But that'll be some a good step up in the future. I definitely can say that. Stock up here, and we've also got that storyline mission, which we can do. And in fact, I can just do it right now. Look here, look here. I'll show you some che some cheaty stuff we can do right here. We can do a storyline mission while we're at it. Get some nice dank standings. Look here. We just go here. Go on Kernite. Look in the market. And someone's selling it for a little bit overpriced. But it's okay. Well, I don't know if this is overpriced or good price. I think it is good price. Because I think it was more a long time ago. So whoever is selling it, thank you. Because I do. I think I do remember spending like 20 million once for one of these missions. Either way, complete mission. And we get this cybernetic subprocessor standard. Which goes for, I think, sub processor standard which goes for 20 million so that's good we get a profit there of 10 million plus a lot of standing 
So that's really good. All right, there we go. What is the next mission we're gonna get? Anomic agent, but in low sec. Now nah, we're not gonna do that. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna do any more missions for now. We'll do some more missions next time in the Marshall instead. Hope you guys enjoyed this video right here. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.